your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, this morning we are waking up to stormy weather across the Miami Valley. As you can see here on our Bryant Heating and Cooling Tower camera, there's definitely rain out there. And if you see it maybe pass by here, there is definitely even a clap or two of thunder and even some lightning out there. And over your head where you are, you may be hearing that thunder and seeing that lightning outside your window. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's most likely going to be headed your way. And for folks who are down at the Flying Pig, maybe you know somebody that is there. They've already seen one round of thunderstorms go through and there's more just to the west and they're looking at temperatures this morning mainly in the 60s. Here's the latest look at live Doppler 2 HD. Fortunately at this time nothing is severe but it is an impressive line of thunderstorms that's advancing its way eastward. In fact it's a combination now of two lines. We had one line develop and then a second one that was moving faster catch up to it and it's advancing its way eastward and you can see here especially as we get down in and around just to the south of Eaton uh, just to the west of Springboro lots of vivid lightning associated with these storms and the storms that have been in and around the uh, Eaton down towards Gratis and into northern Butler County, they've been producing some heavy rain and also some small hail. So if you have your cars that are outside, they may be getting some pings from some of that small hail. Uh, anywhere from like dime size to penny size hail has been reported. And then there's additional storms still waiting to cross over the Ohio border. So this is going to be an active morning here for us for the next couple of hours. Dayton has definitely seen some heavier downpours as you get down towards 75 and 675. That's where we're really starting to see uh, the intense lightning just to the west of Springboro as it's advancing its way eastward. Some of these storms are producing some heavy amounts of rain as well. Greenville, you're looking at some showers right now, but the storms just to your west here are going to continue to advance into your area within the next 15 to 20 minutes. Nothing is severe, but there has been some flooding that has been reported across southern Preble County and northern uh, Butler County here this morning. Over an inch of rain is possible within some of these storms. Temperatures are generally in the low 60s. Later today, though, it's actually going to be quite humid and breezy. The shower and thunderstorm activity is going to end by later this morning. Then this afternoon, we'll see mostly cloudy skies and temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 70s. As far as severe weather th uh, threats, it's low. There's morning storms with small hail, heavy rain and lightning. Those are our main threats. And then this afternoon, We'll see uh, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of sunshine trying to work its way through. It'll be humid this afternoon. And then overnight tonight, there's going to be a chance for a few more showers and storms to develop. And then we'll see more active weather as we go into your day on Monday. But the, the threat for tomorrow also looks low. So today, morning showers and storms will be breezy and humid this afternoon. This afternoon should mainly be dry. Today's high right around 77. And then tonight, we're expecting more scattered showers and storms, mainly late tonight, uh, down to 61. And then tomorrow, more active weather with showers and storms with a high of 76. In your extended Storm Team 2 forecast here, there's a low chance of rain on uh, Tuesday, 